Good morning, Zodiac, and welcome to the urban jungles of Cancun, Mexico. 1111 Portal Read, respect. Using ethereal visions illuminating the tarot deck if you give a darn. And you know, my idea for today, when I get up in the morning, before I get out here, because I'm an early riser, I'm always looking at the astrology for the first hour, waking up, drink the coffee. Um, and I'm really interested in what Mars has been doing with Mercury lately. And now they're within a degree to, today of conjunct uh, 7 and 8 degrees Scorpio. And, um, you know, let's just break it down as astrologer and go basic, you know, because it really doesn't have to be that complicated. Um, you know, Mercury is your mind, thoughts, communication, um, Virgo, Gemini, energy. Um, that's all it has to do with when you just that's another thing about the planet it's like mercury that's mercury's job it does that it doesn't do the feeling that's for the moon you know um in mars the soldier essentially mars is programmed to fuck or fight that's what it gets down to i think um and um you know you have to tame it down um that's why mars is so good in capricorn because there you know it can really do what it wants to do, which is kind of throw a punch, but it can do it in a way that uh, actually is constructive and doesn't involve anyone dying, usually. Uh, and I absolutely love the Mars in uh, Capricorn. Um, but, you know, in Scorpio, the ancient ruler, it's very comfortable there. But Mars at Scorpio doesn't like to make the moves. Scorpion stings you and from behind. So, here it is with the mind and all of this wanting to take action in Mercury, in, in Scorpio, Mars I think is really strong, really shrewd. Uh, there's becomes, it's that energy of there's an awareness that there's challenges in the world, competition, that there's people out there you got to keep your eye on. My opinion, last month we, we were all like kind of checking this out in some way. I'm seeing this playing out less in terms of personalities in my life than within my own inner dynamics. I'm trying to really work on integrating, you know, and that means there's certain aspects of myself that are dropping off, you know, they're getting hit and taken out, you know, because they're not serving the greater good. It, this, if you're a social person, um, definitely could play out in this whole energy with Mars and Mercury. Uh, ending up being right during this month going into next month look the 19th the eclipse boom big one coming now so what is it uh, eight days away not hardly a week away um, and that's going to really start us into the Sagittarius proper and I think um, that's where uh, the moves are going to be made so right now in this month it's really about you know, but really making plans like, you know, investing money, uh, uh, and taking time out, uh, you know, hard plans uh, here uh, being made. Um, and this is to me very, very personal energy. This is the thing, the personal planets, closest planets to the sun, Mars, Mercury, Venus, our desire and our will, Mars and our thoughts and our mind. Uh, Mercury is how we think in our own mind too as you see it in the chart and um, I did pre-shuffle the cards <clears throat> and we do have the devil on the bottom of the deck in a four card uh, reading here <laughs> normally uh, but what I want to do today is a little different um, as I want to break the deck and find uh, the magician to represent Mercury and find again I did this once before uh, during labor season I want to find uh, the uh, emperor to represent this uh, Mars energy. And I'm thinking here less about the signs uh, than about the uh, planets. Okay, it's the planets that mainly bring the energy to it, to it, to everything. Uh, sun brings the main energy, but the planets, you know, bring that energy. So the Mercury energy represented by this magician and the Mars. And then we'll look at the two cards next to them, and that's going to be our reading. So. I do note this uh, devil on the bottom of the deck, and I mean, you know, it, this can be so subtle. Uh, it comes to mind, just as an example, when you think of the devil, it's not always being drug addict. It's not even always about being obsessive about sex or something. Um, it um, can be, you know, they say the last sin is spiritual pride, you know. It could be so many things. Anything that 
I think the devil is anything we look for outside that we properly can only find inside. And I think you know what I mean, right? You're so fast, right? You know what I mean. And we all do that. That's the game, isn't it? It's like really uh, not going around and, and lusting after things that are outside of us that we really know, our soul knows it's not going to give us what we really need. Um, so let me go and find the magician here see if I have any quick success. Okay, good. There's the magician. Let's see, where's my emperor? Here I am. Mm -hmm. Ten of uh, Pentacles, kind of like a junior emperor energy here. Um, uh, oh, the magician came easy. There's my emperor. He might be under the magician. I have a feeling he's up here. King of Wands feels like the magician. Come on, uh, the Emperor. Where are you, Emperor? Death. I got everybody. Everybody's showing up here, man. King of Pentacles. Come on, where's the Emperor? I know you're there. I know you're there, Emperor. know what he looks like well he's an uppity emperor got his nose up in the air um, this one um, arrogant kind of a sense to him I don't care that's like what I'm looking for here come on guys this is my son square he is so I'm gonna get the emperor here and then uh, we're gonna have um, for the magician we're gonna have five of Pentacles Six of Pentacles. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do the reverses. Okay, uh, leave it like that. And for the Emperor, we're gonna have the. Okay, I'm liking it. Keep our. And see, these are the cards next to these two, representing the Mercury and Mars. And now, what really I want this reading to be about, and I could clarify if need be. Um. Because it's big energy. It's a 1111 portal. Man is intention city here. I said that in the, uh, yesterday's read. It's an intention city, intention station we're coming to. 19th, this full moon. You know, keep talking about uh, Lionsgate, Gate, the 8 8 energy. Well, kind of now it's culminating with these eclipses, huh? I think the 4th of December be the, sol the uh, solar so we have this full moon lunar starting it all off just in a week a week's time so I want to get an idea what what is it we're thinking and what plans are we making because I think here the magician and Mercury is making plans uh, in terms of the actions that we want to take so I want to focus here upon the actions as an astrologer you learn you really look at Mercury and Mars and Venus and how they aspect each other to tell you a lot about the basic personal psychology of an individual you know if they're in some good alignment then what you desire it, then you can then think about it logically and then take action to achieve it so uh, the basic basic functionality of a human being you see it right there it comes into play of course the moon and the sun dramatically but um, that's why they call them personal planets. So we're going to break it down and get some advice. So I'm just thinking, you know, um, we've got pinnacles here with the magician. And now with the actions, we have seven of wands and judgment. It's with these pinnacles, I, I feel boxed in. I feel boxed in. And now think about it. Now this is the mind, Mercury. Now, I have to keep in mind here, this is Gemini energy. It's my 10th house, you know. It's my uh, public image, my career energy, what I want to, energy I want to distribute to the world, you know. Energy I want to meet the world with, give to the world, operate in the world with. And you think the magician can accomplish anything. 
It's a real harmony too of them. They're both like uh, uh, individuals, solid. Both have the same solid color there, red. Um, both of these individuals uh, are capable of doing what they want, of asserting themselves. You know, Mercury has this special dispensation. It's neither masculine nor feminine. You know, it's Virgo, it's Gemini, it's mutable air, mutable um, earth energy. Um, Aries is cardinal fire here. Aries is direction. Aries is Mars. Aries is action. Aries is will. Aries is our sexuality. Aries, the metaphor for me, for the archetype, is a flaming arrow just fl flying towards its target on fire. Probably something to eat, I always say. Um, so very directional now. And so you have with uh, Mercury here um, this uh, feeling with the Five of Pentacles. I mean, this is the lack mentality. My God, yes. I mean, this is the whole thing with uh, manifestation for me in terms of both health and wealth um, is just, just reeking with lack mentality. You know, I have the environmental um, DNA structure uh, that comes from deep, deep line of uh, poverty. You know, none of my people ever went to college, you know. I don't think before me. Um, and we're literally poor. And I was a, grew up with a single mom and, and poverty. But you see this in the past position. We see Mercury in the mind. And so Mercury in the mind's always gathering information. Again, it's androgynous. It can go anywhere. It can go into hell. It can go into the highest courtyards of the highest palace in the land. Uh, it can go into the nastiest bar. It can go into the church in litany. Uh, it can, you know, has that ability, and it does. And that's over our lives through doing all that. I think we've achieved uh, this balance, the Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles, I, okay. This is very personal energy, personal plans, personal energy. This is about our minds, our will. This is about manifestation, right? Manifestation starts with our thoughts, you know? And for me, in terms of this wealth thing, what I'm finding, how I'm getting stable is the walk away, the walk away. Letting the arrow go and then, and then letting go of expectations, understanding um, here we are just bottom now, struggling with the nine of uh, wands, not quite there, wounded soldier, you know, uh, but we've created, we've carved out of life a stable place for ourselves here, you know, and it's hard won, that's my point, it's personal, and it's hard won, uh, that, and we should take credit, this is literally the energy of like, it don't matter how you feel, I don't see anybody feeling real terrible here, but if you really look back five years, 10 years, you're gonna be like, you really gotta give yourself a round of applause. I go, man, you know, good job, good job. I think you're gonna find. Um, now in terms of us then taking action, because I think this is what is being planned now. So we're in this stable place. You know, this is like, you, you, you it's hard to forget your roots when you're us. <laughs> You're watching this reading, you're part of Soul Family, you very most likely did not grow up with a silver spoon in your mouth, you know? And you've had to make this personal energy. You didn't have mom and dad to put you through school. You didn't have uh, people to help you get a good job, good contacts. You did it all yourself, but you obviously had what it took because you made it this far and you're balanced and stable with this hard one. And I'll tell you what, guys, Saturn loves this energy right here. You are Saturn's child with this energy because it loves to see hard work, structure over time. This is what's here. And Saturn will fucking reward this. Saturn's, it's at seven degrees right now, Aquarius in... Uh, it's exactly semi-sextile my uh, natal Saturn. And it'll square exact in a few weeks here, uh, my Venus for the last time. So um, keep in mind here, as Saturn goes direct in Aquarius, 
I think over the next, probably into next month, as it goes into the middle of Aquarius, it's like 15 degrees, it really picks up some speed, because it's still just catching back up from stationing, you know, uh, direct, and I think things, I think there's going to be Saturn presence. I was telling someone, a kind of client, yeah, a client said like, yeah, you're like in the midst of this gnarly Saturn return, but watch what's coming, that you're going to get the reward. Because, you know, this client, I hope they're watching, because they are the Six Pinnacles. They have, they have done the right thing. They have used all of their resources to manifest into their life stability. How do you manifest good teeth? By brushing them and fluff, flossing regularly. <laughs> uh, and this is what's happened here. Now, in terms of making this move, um, this Seven of Wands, I see this, look, it's because it's coming under the Five of Pentacles, so in the past position here, um, this is, um, this lack mentality has led to just a feeling of struggle in defending the castle. God, this is so strong with me, guys. Struggle in defending the castle. This is what I'm walking away from right now. I'm getting chills. Because uh, this is my reading too. It's kind of my reading. That's what I, I hope here to be. It's a, I normally don't read for myself, but uh, in this reading, yeah, I want to be a part of it. So, you know, this really captures the feeling for me of just trying so hard to, and I don't know how stupid try, and, and I feel like it's starting to happen because I think how you manifest is not just, and, and yes, it starts with just saying, you know, I want to be a better person. I want to align myself with spirit or, or whatever it is, right? But you know, um, really you have to feel it. And I'm starting to feel it. I'm feeling less this energy of having to defend myself, kind of from myself, like, you know, I'm not good enough. I don't have enough money. It's so unstable. I don't have a good health care right now. I'm vulnerable. I'm, I don't have enough money and broke as fuck. And, you know, it's true. But, you know, I'm not feeling it. I, I'm feeling like everything's okay. You know, it's like I'm feeling, and I'm feeling grateful. It's like most of the time I'm like, wow, thank you, spirit, for this, for my life, you know? Thank you for my life. Thank you for coffee. <laughs> I said way in the sip of coffee because I'm an addict. That's my devil energy, maybe. Uh, more than that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but now, so... Now we're coming into this Mars energy. We're making plans. It's coming into alignment. What I'm telling you right now, with this Mercury and Mars here, we were in Libra, checking out the environment, checking out our relationships. Now we're in Scorpio, and we're making the cuts. You only got 24 hours in a day. What are we going to do with it? People that don't serve us are going to leave. I think for me, it's far more about the energy, just what I told you. What am I trying to cut out? That feeling of having to defend myself, that feeling of, of poverty, that feeling of not being enough, not a good enough lover, not a good enough provider, not a good enough spiritual person, not a good enough tarot reader, not a good enough whatever, right? You know, because, I mean, Mars doesn't, and you take the archetype Mars energy, it's not going to sit around and think about that. Any of that shit doesn't think. That's Mercury can do that. Virgos, hello. I mean, get really stuck in their head in that Earth energy and go around and around about stuff, you know, but not Mars. Mars just wants to drive on, you know. And I think, too, look at the energy being used with this, okay? Because this is energy. This is actions. And I see, like, this energy is, like, pulling on, on this emperor, emperor here, this energy of Mars wanting to drive forward. And this is just pulling on it because he's having to use like look seven imagine seven of his ten wands of action look at it that way 70 percent of our energy 70 percent that's ringing true to me it's kind of more think the 80 20 rule bet you it's going to be around that like 80. so 70 percent of our energy is being sucked up into just negative unhelpful actions activity uh, energy that just does not serve our greatest good. That's what the hit list is for. I make the analogy of Walter White when he does that scene in one minute when he kills all the guys, the bad guys in town and becomes the kingpin, you know? Um, because it's like that. It's like making a plan and then when this Mars lets go, I think it's gonna come after this 
any time after this 19th, especially after the 4th, the, the final eclipse here, uh, that's really going to break things open. And I think right there, it's like if you haven't achieved your manifestation from the Lionsgate portal, and it's coming, it's here, it's already uh, there, um, you will by that time, you know. Um, and then back to how uh, this changes for us and what we're thinking of and how we move forward. And it's all about this judgment now. All about this judgment. This is the future. This is the, you know, major arcana. And you look at them there. If you can see, I hope, with this, uh, they're drifting up into the sky and they're being called out here. Called out by the angels, really, to their destiny. And also, it it is karma, you know. Um, the accumulation of events. But I believe like the, the thing here we got to be careful of, maybe that's where the devil was when it came up in the beginning, okay, is uh, we come, I, we come from this lack mentality. We, we've struggled our whole lives. God bless us, you know, I did a good job. We did a good job. We got our asses balanced now with no real help, you know, uh, you know, as children, we've raised our fucking selves, many of you. Bet you anything. Does that ring a bell? Yeah, mom, absent the wheel, dad, who knows, whatever. You took care of, you did what you had to take care of. It's part of this mentality. It's not just about money, you know. If mom abandons you, dad abandons you, and you're a little kid, what do you think at the deepest level? I'm no good. I, they just threw me away like a piece of trash. What, I can't possibly be have any value. It's that basic child's logic that's inassolable until we're adults and we can put it back together. So we're being called up to purpose here. If you're watching this reading, I like to think of this reading as for light workers, uh, empaths, even psychics, uh, mediums. Um, this is really being called up. And I tell you, guys, come on, the energy's been for years and years just hammering and hammering. I feel like maybe this, maybe tell me if you know, um, guys, leave me a link. Uh, maybe it's just the even and out now. Um, but we're going to have to come up and do what we need to do. I don't think it's any surprise that this is happening right before, because I really think December is like go time, guys. Something, you know, we it's go time. It's go time. It's This is not... Uh, this is not practice, okay? This is the show. <laughs> mm. So, you know, what can I say? Um, it's going to involve us really aligning ourselves with thinking about really what it is that we truly want to do with our energy here on Earth, you know? Like, do we just want to fuck? Do we just want to make money? Do we just want to have pleasure? Do you know, we just want to be whatever, um, and then and, and that's not going to be it. But it's really deciding, you know, what we're going to do with our energy, and that's where the Walter White, the cutting it out and aligning ourselves, and Mars, Mercury, our mind, and our actions, getting ready to take actions so that we can take now this basically solid self that we have to the next level and truly align ourselves with our soul's path and then begin to just act Mars you know from the flow of our soul's purpose from within the flow of our soul's purpose our actions will flow and we'll let go of this harsh energy so we don't want to carry that into it and you know project any of that further just stop let it go cut it out do the hit and we move forward you know and our highest uh, energy into our highest purpose guys so thank you if you can think of any platforms to share this on with you and i appreciate you like comments help a lot um keep in mind um that it's thursday that's always labor scorpio day so i do have uh two heart spread reads will come up and uh, the singles reads uh meet the soulmate those heart spreads for someone that's on your mind okay so thank you guys do subscribe thank you